Hey guys, my name is Shai. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a surprise, and I mean that for me because I did not intend to make it at all, and I'm just running with this as it is being presented to me. I just made a pick a card, like yes or no video using these Moonology cards, which was kind of interesting and new for me, And but I thought that was it. I was putting my camera away, and then I like literally saw this reading like come out before my eyes. I was being directed to do a pick a card reading using these moonology cards as a way to send you guys messages from the moon. These piles just have one tarot card from the Mystic Mondays tarot, and each of these piles has three moonology cards, which I've never done that before because I feel like these cards, I love them because they're so specific. They have a really short and sweet message, and that's it, right? So I don't typically use three of them. Um, cause it doesn't really give me a whole lot to interpret, but for whatever reason, this is how this is supposed to be. Um, like I said, I'm just running with this and we're just going to see what pops up. So I have a feeling these messages are going to be pretty specific, pretty short and to the point, although I am very long winded, so we will see how that works out. <laughs> Go ahead and pick your pile, pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. I'm excited to see what this is all about. Okay, pile one, you have this beautiful two of cups in the center here. I would just like to mention that this can be either external and manifesting as a soulmate, twin flame energy, a new romantic partner, a renewal of your own, like current romantic partnership, um, or like an evolution or expansion of it. Or this can be your own internal uh, internal alchemy, getting in touch with your higher self, getting in touch with your guides, um, other asp aspects of yourself and other timelines uh, in other dimensions, all of those things. Um, what it is is bringing two halves of a whole that have been separated and bringing them together. Um, also, that can be manifesting as creative projects because whenever you're working on something creatively, and that includes business endeavors, um, and career and school stuff, as well as, you know, more traditional artistic projects, those things come to fruition as you tie in other aspects of yourself that you have been sundered from, bringing in those, um, you know, dearly departed soul fragments, bringing them all back together. So something like that is going on for you guys. And then the messages from the moon, new moon in Virgo, it's time to give rather than take. which I love how that comes up with the two of cups because it doesn't matter which, you know, if this is manifesting for you as a romance or a creative project or your own internal alchemy, um, whatever it is, you are being called to, to step up and, you know, uh, give love to your partner, give love to that creative project so that you can send um, your, your artistic message and your soul frequency out into the world just beautiful. And <laughs> Gibbous Moon, you're very close to achieving your goal. So whatever, whatever this Two of Cups is representing for you, it's really close. Maybe you're not feeling it quite yet. You know, maybe that painting is almost done. <laughs> maybe that business is almost organized. And maybe that um, soulmate of yours is just around the corner. But it's happening. And <sighs> A disseminating moon, time to breathe out. This tells me that although there's a lot of intense energy going around you and you've been a bit like a whirlwind bringing everything together, and I mean, especially if you're starting a new romance or, or a new project, that is like, and if you're braiding in aspects of your, your soul, that is all so, so intense. So, you know, take a minute to like decharge and chill out because I feel like you guys have definitely passed the point of, climax like you've put in all your hard work everything is climaxing and um you know <laughs> you're very close to achieving your goal and so you can stop like working so hard even though it is a time to give rather than take since this is over on the left here i feel like that has been what you've been doing and you want to continue that energy like going forward that's really about this this two of cups here but the two of cups is also 
the give and take should not be completely out of balance, right? You need to make sure that you are being nourished and receiving as well so that you don't get entirely depleted. So take a moment to take a breath and let yourself unwind as all of this winds up. I think the energy you have put into this project has taken on a momentum of its own and it's all going to manifest. And so you can sit back and watch it happen because it's all about to unfold. And I think that that was what the, what the moon wanted you guys to know. I'm going to leave it at that. Hope to see you guys again soon. Hey, pile two, welcome to your moon reading. You guys have been dreaming something into existence. And I mean that like literally there is a skill called dreaming where it's sort of like manifesting things through the law of attraction, but it, it's more than that. It's not like just, oh, I think of this really hard and then I'll, you know, attract that to myself. You have been dreaming about, and I mean this like dreaming while you're awake and is your sleep as well, but picturing yourself in some kind of long-term success, you know, dreaming like, oh, I've actually written that book, dreaming about what it would feel like, or, oh, I found my soul family. And now I live in this like idyllic, you know, life with my, with my loved ones, dreaming that into existence and keep that dream going because that just imbues so much energy into this wish that you have. And it will absolutely help it come into manifestation. And 2020 is like the best time we've had in probably thousands of years to be dreaming things into existence. You guys might want to like Google dreaming. Uh, of course, if you do that, you'll just get stuff about like mundane dreams. But the esoteric skill of, of dreaming your ideal reality into existence See if you can find something about that because you guys are doing it. You probably like learned that skill in other lives and your soul remembers that. So here you've got the six of cups, balsamic moon, a time for healing, full moon in Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan and cardinal moon, be bold and make the first move. So a time for healing. I think that is tied to what you guys have been dreaming into existence. And since the Six of Cups is such a, a dreamy soul family card, um, I think it's tied both into dreaming what you have been, like dreaming some kind of idealized past, you know, remembering a nostalgic childhood or an old lover, um, just a time when your life was better and you're dreaming that into the future, trying to get back to not necessarily the same place with the same people, but that same kind of energy, that happiness, fulfillment, um, living the ideal life kind of energy. And this is coming along with a lot of healing for you. And even though the moon is, you know, guiding you to keep dreaming this dream, um, you're definitely being called here to do some practical action. Your dreams need a practical plan. <laughs> Full moon in Taurus. Like, that's it, guys. So, Think about what kind of grounded action you guys can take. For example, if your if your dream needs money, how can you save up some money? Can you get an extra job on the weekend and start putting $100 away a week? If your dream requires that you have a specific kind of, you know, degree or work experience, how can you start taking actual steps to get that kind of experience? If you're working on an artistic project, and you need the tools in order to do that, you know, you can't make a painting without a paintbrush. So keep dreaming, but also start taking those grounded actions because it will never actually happen if you don't do it, <laughs> right? And be bold and make the first mood move. You're definitely being called to like step it up a little bit here. And even if it seems scary and crazy and like something you would not normally do, charge out there, go ahead and do it because your grounded action, whatever steps you need to take in order to fulfill this dream um, are going to require you to step outside of your comfort zone and really be courageous and bold.
So I think that was your guys' message from the moon on this impromptu reading. I hope that gives you a little bit of a hint of how to proceed and bring your dreams into reality. I'm going to leave it at that. Hope to see you guys again soon. Hey, pal three, your cards are so synchronous. I could not have orchestrated this if I have tried. Ace of Swords, which is all about communication, right? Ideas, mental energy. I really associate it with Mercury and Gemini. Over here, New Moon and Gemini. Communication is key. This lady is holding this the sword of communication and intellect in her hand. Confidence is the key to your success. New Moon in Leo. <laughs> the Ace of Swords. She's holding a sword. This is the embodiment of confidence. Fixed Moon. Hold your vision. I love it. You guys have something to communicate with the world and it's probably rather unusual and idiosyncratic. It's something you want to step out into a new, new paradigm. You guys are embodying a new paradigm and you want to share it with your loved ones or with the masses. Probably rippling out. You know, you share it with one person, ripples out, ripples out, ripples out. It might, you guys might seem like unsure about how to proceed with this or that you kind of want to keep it to yourself even though you know you're really inspired to share it hold your vision guys keep your goal fixed in your mind because you will absolutely achieve whatever it is that you're trying to communicate and i i feel like this could be, this could be a project like a, a writing project but just the energy of writing right it doesn't need to be a written project um verbal you know it could be you getting on youtube you doing some kind of public speaking i mean it could be the medium is not important whatever medium it is it's that you are communicating a message out there and it is a radical message and it is something people need to hear um you're holding the sword of truth um all like i feel like this reading is just here to let you know to just be one more synchronicity one little confirmation for you to just let you know to just keep doing what you're doing. You guys don't need my advice. Like, all you need to do is, you know, channel, be be the lion. New moon in Leo. Confidence is key to your success. You just need to be yourself and be confident in yourself. Just speak directly out of your throat chakra, right from your innermost unique authority, your authenticity that is most unique to you. Hold that and communicate it. That's it. That's it, guys. There's no, <laughs> there's nothing else to say here. Um, except that you do need to communicate this. And communicating it will bring you satisfaction, recognition, and it will open doors for you. It will be opening. It'll be like a key that is going to literally like a skeleton key that is going to go in that old like keyhole shaped keyhole <laughs> and unlock doors to like a whole new world for you. I'm getting shivers all up my spine. I just I feel so empowered just having like tuned into your guys's energy. You are going to be empowering people. So empower yourself first. Not even that you guys need to need to tell you that. I think you just needed to see these cards. The moon, the moon. That's why I had to do this reading. The moon wanted you guys to see this. So I I, I feel like if I talk anymore uh, to you guys, I would just be repeating myself. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Just absorb these cards. Ace of Swords. Communication is key. Confidence is the key to your success and hold your vision. That's it, guys. Good luck. Hope to see you again soon. Hey, Pal4, welcome to your reading. You guys have the Hierophant in the middle here. Not just any Hierophant. This is like a pyramid. Look at this. The eye channeling down cosmic energy into this, this healing pyramid. Not just the healing pyramid, but I see this as like an activation point. You guys are getting downloads. You guys are like streaming in like massive data from the cosmos. Um, this Hierophant... The Hierophant really speaks to me of, especially this one, this pyramid one, of vertical spiritual connection, connecting with your higher selves. 
like all of them, all of them up through all of the dimensions. And in conjunction with these other cards, full moon in cancer, a personal e issue reaches revolution or <laughs> resolution. Uh, I find it very interesting that I said revolution here because um, we'll get to that. You guys are going through a revolution. Resolution is like the smallest bit of your revolution. Blue moon, believe in the impossible. Fuck yeah, guys. Blue moon. <laughs> like, hell is freezing over. Pigs can fly. Nothing is impossible for you guys now. I mean that, like, dead seriously. Dead, dead seriously. A new start is coming. New moon. Like, guys, look at these cards. Just... <sighs> okay, let me... Uh... Whew. Okay. Okay. A personal personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. So you guys have had some kind of like spiritual crisis, I want to say. Even if you might have not noticed that the crisis was spiritual in nature or energetic at its root, but it was. Like maybe you got like suddenly and massively sick for like 12 hours, you know, or like one night, you know, you just started like man, like your body was just emptying itself and you had this like splitting headache like that maybe started right in the center of your forehead, like a third eye headache, and then like went out to squeeze your forehead. And then came, you know, the nausea and the purging, all of that, something like that. Or you went through some kind of major upheaval in your environment, like suddenly like your house burnt down or some kind of crisis, you lost your job, lost loved ones maybe, lost your house, like you guys have been through some shit, whatever it was, however it manifested in your physical environment and in your body, it was energetic in nature because of the massive fucking downloads you guys are getting. Like you are, you were being upgraded, you are activating your light body, you are retrieving soul fragments, you are deeply braiding in a more intimate connection with your higher selves blue moon like uh, whatever it is that you're thinking you have you guys have a suspicion about what this like specifically means for you since this is so high frequency it's going to be really unique and idiosyncratic for every one of you so i'm gonna have to keep this kind of general but you guys know exactly what i'm talking about whatever you've been whatever's been niggling at the back of your mind whatever you keep saying no that's crazy that can't be happening to me or no i can't i can't believe i can do that that's impossible Blue moon, guys. It's <laughs> You got the blue moon card. It's happening. It's once in a blue moon. Hell is freezing over and a new start is coming. So whatever you guys have been through, I think, you know, these activations coming down from your higher selves and from the cosmos have, they're settling in because, you know, when, when you had that crisis, that was when it was coming in. That's when you're like on an energetic and cellular level, you were being like reprogrammed and upgraded. Higher frequency aspects of your oversoul are coming in down into you, back to reunite with you and inhabit this embodiment with you. And this is all this is all fantastic news. The only problem is when you're getting that level of influx of light and energy from the universe, it is like traumatic to your body, to your mental state. If you guys have had some kind of like psychosis crisis or extreme panic attacks, depression, you know, like some people will, there, when you get this kind of influx of energy, everybody kind of like chooses on a like subconscious and super conscious level to deal with it differently. Some people get physically sick. Some people get, you know, E mentally emotional and emotionally sick. Some people remain feeling okay in their embodiment, but like that energy gets like shocked out into their environment and their environment goes like completely upside down, cattywampus. That's because these, these ripples have to affect you somehow as, as they settle on. But you guys are integrating these things they're settling down. The activations are like 
grounding. They're grounding into your reality and whatever has been going on, whatever like tower moment you guys have been going through is, is going to be leveling out. And you guys are having your own like personal new moon. A new start is coming guys. So just hang in there. And this new start is going to be better than fucking ever. Like, because now that you have upgraded yourselves, you know, you're reunited with like long lost parts of your soul. Your frequency is higher. Like your, the higher aspects of yourself, now that you're reconnecting with them, they're not going to like have your life. Like now they, they're, they're like deeply, like physically now invested here in your body and in your life. And they're not going to like have your life continue to just be shitty, you know, or be like mundane, whatever it is, you guys are going to have entirely new horizons opening up to you and everything's going to be possible. You know, it might take a few years at, even for you to see the full extent of how this works out. But I promise you guys, like I'm getting so many shivers. I can't even, my neck is cracking. Okay. I promise you guys, like in a year, you will not recognize yourself. Some people will see it happen first in their environment and then they'll feel it shift within themselves. That's kind of the extroverting way to do it. Some people will feel the shift in themselves and in a year, your, your life, you still might be at the same job, living in the same place with the same people, but you in your core of yourself, you'll know that you are like not the same person you were. And I mean that in like a good way, you will be more yourself than ever before. You won't be less yourself. You'll be more yourself, more of your true, true self. <sighs> and this just goes from here. Slowly for the rest of your lives, things are going to be rippling out and everything is going to be manifesting more according to your vision and what you came here to do. This is when you guys are finally like activating yourselves and whatever you came to earth to do, you're going to be doing it. And that doesn't even have to be like a major, you could go sit in a cave and never talk to another human ever again. And you would be doing the whole planet and beyond a huge service because of the energy you're holding. Um, I'm feeling really dizzy and I'm actually wobbling a little bit. That is like the, the fr like uh, this almost never happens to me when I'm doing a general reading on YouTube. <laughs> um, I actually don't even remember what I have just been saying. That is like the level of energy, like coming in here and I'm feeling it start to like, close. I have said whatever it is that I was supposed to say to you guys. And I just saw that the uh, my phone is running out of space uh my sd card is running out of space so <laughs> that is that is the double confirmation that i have transmitted this message you guys have received it and that's it i'm gonna go uh, i love you guys congratulations on existing and thank you so much for resonating with me so that i could experience this reading for you i hope to see you guys again soon